Hey guys, Celinda here from Mama Try. Today I thought I'd go over some tips and tricks that I've developed over the years from other organizers or minimal living individuals, but also some that I have carried with me through my whole parenting, married life, working life. And I thought I'd come up with five to share with you. There are hundreds more, so never give up the fight, but these are the ones for me that made the biggest impacts, at least for consistency. So number one, this was from Cass from the Clutterbug, and she says, make it as easy to put away as it is to leave out. And that, even though that seems like such a simple thought process, that was a game changer for me because sometimes I wanted to make things pretty. And there's nothing wrong with making things pretty. I personally live to decorate, but there has to be, if it's too much work, circumstances will always get in the way. So in particular by my front door, um, when we renovated the coat closet, I moved the coats to by the front door and our shoes right there and the dog leash and poo poo bags right there. So that when we walk in the door, we can release every, everything that we've been lugging in from the day and it goes right there. And I have found, even though those things might be a little bit out on display, it has a more orderly feel to me. And therefore, I hang up my coat every day. I put away Jane's leash every day. I take off my shoes when I walk in the door. N not because I have any conviction about shoes in the house, but I don't like wearing shoes. So there's that. Number two, if it takes less than 30 seconds, do it right now. Don't wait, don't, don't procrastinate, don't think I'll come back to it. And in particular for me, at the end of the day, it's that reset. So if I get out a blanket before I leave that room, I fold it up and I put it away. And that helps that room feel clean and clutter begets clutter. So it only takes one thing and then you realize, you look back and you're like, oh, there's like 30 things here. So if it takes the less than 30 seconds, I do it before I move on to anything else. Folding up the blankets, resetting the pillows, putting the dish in the dishwasher, um, especially for just a drink or a snack, put it away. And honestly, I do that in the morning when I get out of bed. It takes my husband and I, it is down to a science. It takes us less than 30 seconds to make that bed. It's, it's not going to be Pinterest worthy, but it feels so good and the room feels reset whether or not anything else happened. Number three, and this comes from one of my most favorite people in the world, Dawn from The Minimal Mom. Can I make do without it? Now for me and my competitive spirit, I am like, oh, I'm gonna do it. But a lot of times, especially with kitchen gadgets, in particular in the kitchen, because I, I love uh, Pampered Chef or all those things as much as the next person, but in terms of my kitchen, it's not that massive. And so I have to ask myself, can I make do without it? And the example I use is the broiler pan. I don't know if everyone remembers when ovens used to come with the broiler pan and we carried that thing around and it was the broiler pan. And then when we moved, I was like, why? I, I, I can use just a cookie sheet that I use for everything else and the roaster rack that I use for Thanksgiving. And so now I make do without it. And I have taken that challenge over and over and over again, in particular in the kitchen. And that has worked tremendous. Can I make do without it? Number four, this one I've talked about before, but I believe so strongly in it. Um, I have heard other people talking about the power of five minutes and never diminish five minutes. There's a lot you can do in five minutes. And that's really capitalizing on what we talked about before, the fresh start effect. When you get started, you have a momentum. And then once that momentum is going, you can sometimes, sometimes sustain it. But for me, that 15 minute timer, game changer. And that one I learned from the fly lady probably close to 12 years ago. And I have used that 15 minute timer all, well, probably longer than that, all through the kid's uh, childhood with folding laundry. Oh, the laundry we used to have and things like that. I would just set the timer. Okay, Selena, just, just 15 minutes. You can do anything for 15 minutes and then you can take a break. And I may want to come back to it or I may sustain it or I may be done. But that 15 minutes gave me something that I could project to. When I ran the 25K, I never thought of the 25K itself for me personally. I thought of 
the next water stop. I can make it to the next water stop. And that for me is the same as the 15 minutes. Just just getting those little wins could help me get to the, the actual finish line. And then finally, and this one might be the most profound, um, I read a book by Simon. When his name comes to me, I'm gonna post it up here for you. And it, it was start with the why. And I really thought about that in terms of organizing and keeping house and things like that is why? Why, why do I want to do that? Is that for some photograph? No, my life is for living. And for me, the reason I wanted a minimal organized home was I wanted to feel safe. Everyone can come up with their own why, but for me, when I walk in, I have a very high stress job at times. And honestly, who doesn't have family? What? Is it drama is the right word? But I mean, life is not perfect. Crisis come along and it just seems like it's one thing after another. So when I come home, I want to go, it's okay. I'm okay, you're okay. And that is why I started to downsize my house, my belongings, and started to organize. And honestly, I found once I downsized organization, it just made more sense to me because I wasn't trying to keep a ton of things. And so start with your why. Think about why. Do you want a friendly home? Do you want a welcoming home? Do you want to practice hospitality? Do you want to feel safe like me? Do you want to feel in control? Do you want to feel protected, organized? All those things, do whatever your why is, start there. Why do you want to do it? Because when you establish the why, your motivation becomes a little more solidified as opposed to this is just what I'm supposed to do. And for everyone on their minimalist or organized journey, I call it simplified because I don't I don't know that anyone would quantify me as a minimalist. I don't think Joshua Becker would, but I do look up to him. If we, if we start with our why, we can see it through to the end. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you don't mind, make a comment down below. What tip did you find enlightening? What did you find boring? Or, or what would you like to see next? I would love to hear from you. Um, and if you feel so inclined, give me a little like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. And if you're feeling inspired, give it a try. Bye.